guys. This is a Woodsong acoustic that came into my shop, and I'm, I'm doing this video real quick before work because I just I don't normally often get interesting acoustics in here. So this one is actually made by Gold Tone, is the the parent company. I don't know a lot about them, but because of the interesting things I found in this guitar, I thought I would research. So it looks like they're um, low to mid priced guitars. I don't see a country of manufacturer on here, but being that it's a brand, you know, under a brand, I would probably say China or Indonesia. There's a couple reasons for that. The uh, customer gave it to me to fix for him because the bridge was just ridiculously high, the neck was a little out of whack. Um, there's a couple spots where the inlays have fallen in. I'll get a better shot of that later. And that all kind of lets me think, okay, maybe maybe this is Chinese made. But it actually plays really nice now that the bridge has been shaved. There's three interesting things that make this guitar unique. And one of them is the zero glide fret. Again, I'll do a shot over this. And what it basically is, is they have a zero fret, but there's not a bridge stuck way down here somewhere. That bridge is actually shaved to fit that fret inside. And what it allows for is um, better tuning stability up here. And they, they claim it's 90% better tuning stability than your regular uh, plastic or bone nut. So that's kind of interesting. Um, it does make it a little hard to set the action at the nut though. Inside here, under the bridge, and I'll use my boroscope and show you what it looks like, there is a what they call the uh, JLD, I believe that's correct, uh, bridge system. And it's supposed to couple the bridge to the tail block of the guitar. And they say that is for increased sustain, but also to counteract the pull of the strings in this direction. I don't know how much counteracting it's actually doing, and I'm not sure that adding a giant wooden block in the middle of the resonant zone of an acoustic is a really good idea to uh, increase sustain. I mean, maybe, but I just feel like you're going to lose resonance. But it's an interesting design, and I will tell you what, this guitar actually sounds really, really good. It might be in part to these uh, giant clod hopping strings the customer has on here. The most interesting thing to me is this cutaway. Look at this. Just like your your fenders would have, or electric guitars would have that uh, arm cutaway. They got a bevel there. So it is actually more comfortable to play than your standard acoustic. You don't have that extra inch of body here pushing into your arm. And what's cool though, you know, it's it's a compound curve all the way around. So despite where this guitar may have been made, there's some very complex engineering to make a curve like that. If you, if you are a woodworker and you do a miter joint one direction and a miter joint the other direction, that is difficult enough, but to do it where it's a complex curve the entire way, uh, that takes some real forethought. So that's very interesting. Spruce top, mahogany back and sides. It's just a uh, really fun guitar. I wouldn't hesitate to pick up one. This does have a screw right there in the bridge, but apparently after more research on the, the first run models of these, that screw was there. That actually holds that coupler, which you'll see in the, the boroscope shots. So yeah, pretty interesting guitar. Uh, it came out really nice. I think the uh, owner's going to be happy. Really good action. And just a really nice tone. So. Uh, if you like uh, interesting and unique acoustics, this might be one to pick up. Thanks for watching, guys, and check out Woodsong Guitars.